video, we're going through the best Blender add-ons for 2022. We'll start with the best free add-ons, then dive into the best paid add-ons. This video is sponsored by MSI. Make sure to comment your favorite add-ons in the comments. Don't forget to check out my free material pack with over 20 free materials, and all my courses and products are also on Gumroad if you'd like to check those out as well. If at any point you're wondering why my viewport is rendering so fast, that's because I'm using the sponsor provided MSI W7S6. This thing is super fast. I'll put the specs at the bottom of the screen. I really love this computer. We'll talk about it more in the video and some recommendations on hardware for yourself. But with that being said, let's get started. Machine Tools is a cool new free add-on that adds a lot of handy features with a robust Pi menu system, tools for modeling, UV layouts, and more. Botanic is great for adding nature assets to your scene, and they also have ones for cars, materials, and water as well. These were on the paid add-on assets last year, but this year they've released a free intro version to most of their products, which you can download and use several assets for free and then pay to get more if you want. Magic UV. This added several basic UV functions to the UV editor, and this is a great for complex UV unwraps, and especially if you're doing characters. Images to planes. This add-on allows you to import images as planes. Ant Landscape will generate planets and landscapes based on noise types, and they're not very detailed, but they're great for backgrounds. Bygen. This is an amazing tool by Curtis Holt, which has a bunch of crazy cool generative modeling presets, which you can apply to your models. I can't believe this is free, but definitely check it out. It's really great for abstract or sci-fi renders or motion graphics. Adobe released a few new Blender add-ons this year, and they have the new Substance add-on, which lets you import Substance file, allowing you to adjust generative properties live. There are plenty of free Substance materials out there that you can check out. EasyFX provides you with some quick custom FX presets in the compositor to save time and quickly add effects post-process. Blender GIS or Blender GIS, this mapping tool allows you to import mapping data to generate cities. It's a great way to quickly create a detailed map of any city. Camera Manager lets you manage multiple cameras in a scene and render them after each other. It also has some other quick presets to make switching between cameras more easy. Extra Objects. I use this one all the time. It adds a bunch of extra objects to the Add menu, and there's one for Mesh and also one for Curves. The Node Wrangler gives you shortcuts to make using nodes easier. For example, pressing Ctrl T on an image will give you a full image mapping setup. And there's much more which you can view in the documentation. One of my favorite is Ctrl Shift T, which allows you to import your PBR maps. Loop Tools. This gives you a bunch of tools in edit mode to easily edit edge loops. Most importantly, it gives you this circle tool that lets you convert an edge loop into a circle with the click of a button. I use this one constantly. Extra Objects. This adds a bunch of extra objects to the add menu. There's one for mesh and one for curves. I personally use the quadrosphere option quite a bit and the spirals in the curve section. Bool tool. This tool is super handy for using booleans. The default workflow is a bit slow and requires a lot of clicks and modifiers where this adds a lot of shortcuts to speed up the entire process, doing a lot of those steps for you. Rigify allows you to position preset armatures on your characters and then automatically attach and create controls. And most people don't know this, but you can also generate your own rigs from the pieces using this add-on. So I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tidy Monkey. This add-on is a bunch of quick shortcuts and tools oriented around game dev. It makes it easier to export for popular engines as well. Ivy Gen. It's an incredibly cool add-on that'll automatically generate Ivy up whatever kind of object you select. Discombobulator. The discombobulator is a great tool for adding Greeble to your objects. From the creators of HardOps, this tool makes it easier to kit bash and comes loaded with a bunch of great free assets. You can also add your own. Let's talk a bit about our sponsor. The WS76 workstation is built for those who need every ounce of power you can get from your computer. I measured thermals during my render test and I was impressed at how well it did. It has an Intel i9 processor, an NVIDIA RTX A5000 graphics card, support for Omniverse drivers, plenty of RAM for large scenes, Wi-Fi 6E, 99.9 .9 watt per hour battery life. This is a top of the line workstation for professionals. If you're interested in something cheaper for a hobby, I'll list some of those in the description as well, as MSI has a wide range of options that accommodate all creatives. Full disclosure, some of these paid add-ons are affiliate links, which I'll label in the description below. I won't recommend anything I wouldn't use myself. RDB Labs is an awesome simulation add-on, making it easier to produce some wild results in Blender. I know a lot of people love simulations, so I wanted to include this one. Node Preview. I love this add-on. It gives you a little preview thumbnail of what your texture is. This is extremely useful for creating generative content. For example, when I made my polka dot generator. Decal Machine is a super cool add-on that uses mesh decals to add surface detailing in a non-destructive manner. 
I've never seen a workflow like this before, and it's super unique and clever. Hard Ops, the most popular tool in Blender. This tool adds an incredible array of hard surface modeling tools. So good in fact, I have friends who work at PlayStation and Epic Game Studios that have told me this is a standard in their hard surface modeling pipeline, making this some of the best hard surface modeling tools in the entire industry. Nebula Generator. The title of this add-on kind of explains it all, but this generates nebulas with an amazing result for both Eevee and Cycles. Chaos. This makes it easy to add realistic explosions to your scene. It now supports debris as well, making it even more realistic. The same dev has a city builder add-on that looks pretty cool too. Material Builder Suite. This is an essentially an entire material building tool inside a blender. It has a pretty unique flow, and it's very powerful and can yield some amazing results. This add-on offers high-quality, 100% procedural, and practical material nodes. Retopo Flow is another industry-grade tool. This series of tools makes retopologizing much less tedious with tools that almost work like magic. Image scattering is an amazing tool for two features. One, it helps you scatter your images. If you don't know what that means, it takes a tileable texture and makes it help randomize it to prevent a repeatable pattern from occurring. It also has an option to use triplanar projection mapping, which allows you to project the texture onto an object from three different angles. This can bypass UV unwrapping and makes texturing much simpler. Conform object. This conforms objects to the shape of a surface. In my experience, this yielded better results than the shrink wrap modifier. I believe this is pronounced IK, and IK lets you projection map multiple textures onto one UV easily. 3D hairbrush beats up the particle brush system, adding loads of professional features, making it easier than ever to add hair. PBR Bridge is a major time saver and supports a quick import of textures from multiple texturing software apps. I also recommend checking out the real-time materials add-on. This gives you a bunch of real-time materials that you can add quickly right here in the add menu. And the great thing about this is all these are intended for real-time rendering, meaning that they render very quickly. Auto Rig Pro. Auto Rig Pro is more like a robust version of Rigify. They have this amazing auto rig feature that lets you place markers on your character and it will build the armature based on these points. It has a lot of options and allows you to customize the rigs. It also has some more simpler options, making it great for beginner animators who don't need or want such a complicated rig. They also have an add-on that lets you create your own rigging presets, which is pretty awesome. As usual, thank you for watching and follow me at Southern Shoddy on Instagram or Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date. 